When electromagnetic energy encounters matter, one of three things can occur. It can reflect off of the matter and continue to move through space in a different direction. It can pass through the matter and also continue on into space or it can be absorbed. Which of these three things occur depends on the specific characteristics of both the electromagnetic energy and the matter involved. It is through absorption that energy contained in the wave is transferred to the matter that absorbs it. When it is absorbed by matter, the energy changes and that particular electromagnetic energy ceases to exist. Since energy cannot be created or destroyed, absorption of electromagnetic energy must increase the energy of the object. This is typically an increase in temperature for non-ionizing radiation or altering the arrangement of electrons for ionizing radiation. While the absorption changes the energy of the material that absorbed the electromagnetic energy, the energy is often quickly re-radiated as black body radiation, meaning it becomes electromagnetic energy again and moves back out into space. When this happens, the new electromagnetic energy always has a lower frequency and longer wavelength than the original energy absorbed by the object. This change to lower frequency, longer wavelength energy represents a decrease in the quality of energy consistent with the second law of thermodynamics, which requires entropy to increase over time. Most of the electromagnetic energy that enters Earth's atmosphere and is absorbed is quickly re-radiated back out into space as longer wavelength, lower frequency heat. While this heat energy cannot be seen by our eyes, satellite images taken at night show visible light radiating out into space. This demonstrates just how easily electromagnetic energy leaves the Earth 